Hey guys, what's going on? Jerry here with 3DHP. My ComGro Robo CNC router just showed up. Uh, it came this morning, so let's unbox it, get it set up, and uh, let's learn how to use it. So, I have an MPCNC I built a little over a year ago that I've never used, which I need to work on that, but I have never used a CNC router whatsoever. Um, not nothing that's automated like this anyway. So let's open up and let's see what's in the box. This came in another box from Amazon. Obviously it wasn't shipped in this one. So, took a few days to get it. A user manual here with a nice picture on it. Explains how it all goes together. Looks like it's got actual color photos. Main board. So, alrighty. Let's stack up all the packing here and see what we got. Okay, power adapter, power brick. I'm going to just make a pile and pull here at the garbage. Looks like some feet. Got some bolts. Hold downs for the bed, wrenches, more bolts for putting it together. Those might, or actually those all might just be for the hold downs to hold down your work. Wow, it's a tiny spindle, very small spindle. And that's going to be the level of the bed. I forget what that's called, but that's going to be for leveling the leveling the spindle. The SD card and the micro SD. Some more nuts and uh, T nuts and some little bolts. A cool little controller. Looks nice. And a ribbon cable. Some of the acrylic, it's got the plastic sheeting on it, so right before you mount it, you peel off both sides. Here's the two sides, the other piece is probably the back. A little brush for cleaning debris off the bed or the cleaning the machine. The air compressor works great also. Little bag of uh, Allen wrenches. That's pretty. Like the color. The stepper motor is mounted to it. That's all aluminum. This is plastic, which I wish it wasn't, but it is. So we'll see how well it holds up. Cords I can plug in on my PC. Okay, I think that's it. For, oops. Yeah, always had to be something, right? I'll have to find the rest of them, but there was bits. I got three, four, a little pack of them here and they fell out, so I got to get underneath the table and apply flashlight and get the rest of them. That's nice, nice looking build platform. See if we got anything else hiding here in the box. I think that's everything. Always pull out your phone and check everywhere. Just remember that those bits were there and just drop them like I did. So, see what we got here. Our acrylic.
So, alrighty, let me uh, look at the instructions here and then we'll get to building. Alrighty, here's all the bits I dropped on the floor. I believe I found all of them, got them all picked up. Now, if that would have been taped shut, I wouldn't, they wouldn't have went everywhere. But it's very simple, we're going to put on the acrylic sides. We'll put six bolts in on the basic machine, we'll put the legs on and have, to have a few plugs and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, the paperwork states to take your caliper and measure your probe, which I did, and it came out to, uh, let me zero that out, 19.21 millimeters, and enter that in the software, which I couldn't figure out where to enter it in the software. But, here's how you can calibrate your uh, bed to get a zero position. You have a little plug hanging out of the control box right here on the back. It says adjust. Simply plug this little connector in. Put the probe underneath your installed uh, cutting bit. Put the alligator clip on it. And we, we'll come over here to the screen. And I'll hit Z probe. I've got candle open. Can't really see it there. I'll show you a better picture, but hit Z probe. And it's going to come down, it will touch it, and we'll stop. And there it found its zero position. And here we are at Congrove's site here now. And you get here, you simply go to CNC machines, click on their uh, Robo CNC, it's 30 by 18. And uh, here's a little introduction video that tells a little bit about it. All metal construction, the acrylic around the sides obviously is plastic. And uh, got a 775 DC motor on it, spindle. And there's a puck when they're leveling the bed. You can make those, but it does come with one, and they're also very easy to make if you should ever need to make one. There's many great videos that I've found on uh, YouTube regarding this machine and uh, how to do this and do that on a 3018. A little bit of information here on it on their website, and you can where to purchase it from. Um, like I say, it's basically pre-assembled. Um, they do have another model which comes with a laser. You can buy a 5 watt laser and you can add it to this. So this can be an all-in-one. It can do your CNC and your lasering all-in-one. It comes with an adapter which I can put a smaller or older laser from Comgrow that I have on it. Or you can buy the one with the, the larger one on it. And here's some more information about it. Let's talk about the laser. It has laser gerbil on the SD card. It has candle um, on the SD card. And candle is a program that you use to actually uh, engrave with. You uh, load your G-code file into candle. I'm using easel right now. Uh, let's go over to easel's website. I had created a free account for 30 days with easel. Um, and it's from inventables.com. And uh, I guess it seems like they have a free version or a paid version after 30 days. I have to learn more about that, but it's very awesome to use. It shows you actual pictures of your bits you use. It shows you working. It shows your uh, 
project you're designing on the left side and what it would actually look like on the right side while you work on it and then you just export it from there I heard that easel can control your CNC but there's a lot of issues with it since this is cloud-based you don't actually download easel you just go to their website and you log in so that's why it's best to use candle or um, the other program I can't think of universal g-code reader I believe it's called I'll put links below in the description you can use that or candle and I've been uh, tinkering with both of them at the moment And then over on Amazon, here's where I bought it on Amazon, and I can't click on it and show you because they're currently out of stock, and for some reason they go out of stock, they took their ad down. So it shows what I purchased, but if I click on it, it will say, sorry, page not found. So I guess they have to come back in stock so I can actually look at it and show you more details. But with uh, tax and everything, I paid two thirty eight forty one here in the U.S., and I do have Prime, so I didn't have to pay for shipping on that. Well, you do pay for shipping. You know, you buy it yearly, and based on how many packages you get, it's almost like it's free. So, anyway, this just seems to be a solid little unit here. Yeah, I've been working with the CNC for uh, the last three or four days now, probably, uh, testing it out and trying this out, trying that out. Had a few problems here and there, so I'd have to Google it or get a hold of my friend Liam. I'd PM him on Facebook and ask questions, or I would Google the problem. And I've got some of it resolved. I have a lot more to learn. Um, one thing I noticed with Candle, when you use Candle, a program that comes with it on the SD card, if you put Candle on a second monitor or a TV screen and you close it and you go to load it back up, it won't load and you're going to have an error. So you have to be sure that you close Candle in the screen that you opened it on. So if it's on your monitor, drag it back down, leave candle there, be sure when you close it. If you don't, there's a line of text you'll have to go in and edit or a hashtag out, that way that problem doesn't happen again. If I remember, I'll try to show you on the screen where that's at or I'll put a link below in the description where you can learn more about that. But yeah, and then my coordinates, um, it was homing to the wrong position so I had to go into the console and change a few directions and work a few of the bugs out but it's a very sound machine it went together very well it's very rugged you know it's rigid um very well constructed I had no problems there whatsoever it comes with laser gerbil and laser i don't have a laser on this it has an attachment where you can put on the small laser you can buy the unit that costs more money that comes with a five watt like i have on my other laser from them or my diy i've got the five watt um, but it doesn't have a ton of files for you to test with when you're doing burns and such. Not burns, when you're engraving. And uh... Okay, on their SD card they supplied, we've got a PDF file which basically has the paperwork that they mail you. If you want to read that in PDF form or zoom in on something, they have that right here. And it's exactly this, it appears to be exactly the same as my booklet. And then they have a the laser gerbil laser gerbil control software, and uh, so what we got. It's got some bunch of different pictures here. Let's change the view of it. And uh, you know, for your laser burning, it has a lot of different pictures here. I'll have to figure out how those can be imported in as far as for um, cutting on the CNC. And looks like they do have one test file. So. And there's candle right there, which I installed. Copper cam software. This is for uh, working for circ on circuit boards and such engraving. There's some different pictures there. And what I was talking about with uh, 
candle if you shut it down on the wrong screen you'll have an error and you can't open it back up i googled that problem and it took me a few minutes but i finally found something and you basically you go in your text editor you edit, edit the file and you go to the line uh where is that that starts with at by right here you go to this line right here it says to remove it save changes i simply put two hashtags commented out because i don't like deleting things if i don't really know what the hell they work so i just hashtag it saved it and then candle started right back up on whatever screen and then it was no problem and another program was universal g code sender if you choose not to use candle which seems to work perfectly fine for uploading your materials to cnc you can use universal g code sender and just simply google it download it install it and then you'll have one or the other you can kind of play with this one play with candle and figure out if you want to use one over the other or you know what you prefer so i just wanted to throw that out there if i'll put on here and I'll just tape it down with the method I just mentioned. That way, if you cut all, all the way through your work on top of it, you won't come down, break your bit, and hit your bed. You'll cut into the spoil board. So I've got more videos to do. Uh, it's a great unit. Check out some pictures here. I'll show you links on the screen of the website. I bought this over on Amazon, and as of a few days ago, they were out of stock, so I couldn't go back to my link on Amazon. Hopefully, they'll be back in there so I can leave my review of the unit. But... Yeah, it's a very solid, it's a well-built unit. There needs to be more test files and software on the SD card, which there isn't, for working with the CNC. Um, but if you search out, there's other companies that made a unit which looks almost identical to this. It, builds, it might be turned sideways, and they have a lot more documentation on how to do this, how to do that. Google is your friend. YouTube is your friend. There's so much information that explains a 3018 and how to work with it and do this and do that. So with a little patience, you know, it's, it's no big deal. It just you'll, you'll learn slowly like I do. Now I've got my MPCNC that I need to put a new control board on. And I've spent so many years working with resin and working with FD and prints. Well, now it's time to get into CNC, go hot and heavy, learn a lot about it, do a lot of great videos. But yeah, I'm very happy with you and I'm pleased. It's got an offline controller here, so if you want to put your file you're going to burn on the micro SD card, you can put it in the controller, you can run it from here, and that way you're not tethered to a PC if that's not what you want to do. But yeah, it's a solid little unit, and uh, I don't know. So, you know, I've got all the pictures here, I'll show you of it again, and uh, I'm very happy with the unit. I'm just not happy on the software side of it, that it didn't come, like I say, with a lot of test files. The documentation tells you how to set it up, but as far as for using the unit, it gets pretty vague. So, but it is a nice unit. And uh, anyway, I'll show you all this on the screen. And uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my channel. Leave me a comment down below what you think of my videos or what you'd like to see in the future. I'd really appreciate it. So, for now, everybody. Thank you very much and happy, happy uh, late, uh, CNC, laser engraving, you know, whatever it is you like to do. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a great day.